Hello, I'm Patricia Silva with your SCB News break for Thursday, March 2nd. The owner of the Placerita oil field off Sierra Highway announced Wednesday that the company has emerged from bankruptcy. Barry Petroleum Company filed for Chapter 11 bankruptcy but has since restructured. The company was previously a wholly owned subsidiary of Lynn Energy LLC. Hart District denied Einstein Academy's charter school petition Wednesday in front of a packed boardroom. The governing board from the William S. Hart Union High School District praised the academics of the school. However, the board said that a history of poor poor financial record keeping and the liability of the school's debt put the district at risk. School officials for Einstein Academy are planning an emergency meeting Thursday evening. We're going to take a quick break, but when we come back, Read Across America Day festivities saw some special guests at this local school. Plus, shop and raise money for the SCB Senior Center. Find out more coming up. So, same time next week? Well, of course. Put away a few bucks, feel like a million bucks. For free tips to help you save, go to Feed the Pig. Back to SCV News Break. For the students at Fair Oaks Ranch Community School, Read Across America Day was filled with books, Dr. Seuss, and some special guests. Check it out. Read Across America Day brought fun festivities to the kids at Fair Oaks Community Elementary School in Canyon Country. The day is a celebration of both reading and Dr. Seuss, whose birthday is on March 2nd. It's funny, I'm um, 15 years ago, I never thought I'd. Um, take something like this on, but it's fun. It's, it shows kids how important reading is. The younger kids kind of dig the Dr. Seuss books, and the older kids kind of soak up the, 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 the guest speakers. Um, and again, I think no matter how old or young you are, um, today is pretty important. Community members and also a couple recognizable guests came and read the classic rhymes to students. One such was Corey Feldman, actor from movies like The Goonies and Stand By Me. As an artist, I feel like we must inspire the next generation. We must teach the next generation about arts, about love, about peace, about understanding and equality. Uh, so to be able to go out there and get everybody together at once and get everybody excited about reading and about hearing a story and being creative with their minds, it's beautiful. While the kids and teachers alike were certainly excited, teacher Ken Newton, organizer of the Read Across America Day for the school, is feeling lucky to spread the message of the joy of reading to these young minds. For SCB TV, I'm Patricia Silva. If you shop at Whole Foods Market on March 8th, you'll help contribute to the SCB Senior Center. 5% of the sales made on March 8th will be donated to the SCB Senior Center. The fundraiser is part of Community Giving Day, which are special days in which Whole Foods donates 5% of their proceeds to local nonprofits. The wet, rainy weather has left clear blue skies and nice cool temps in SCV. So far this week, weather has ranged from the low 60s to high 70s as well as today. For Friday and Saturday, weather is to remain in the 60s and 70s before another rainy day on Sunday. That's all for your SCV News Break. For more local news, you can log on to hometownstation.com or scvnews.com. Thanks for watching. I'm Patricia Silva.